Next I'll do the cat. You measure the cat. There's three measurements on a cat. There's the width, widest point of the skull, which is usually where my fingers are. There's the length, which is the longest part of the skull. Once again, between my fingers. And then the distance between the two front incisor teeth. The very sharp ones at the front. We we'll use a pair of verniers. Doesn't matter what markings are on the verniers because we'll use the pointers on a tape to come up with an actual score. We measure them in sixteenths of inches instead of eighths. It's a derivative of the, the Douglas score system. The reason we use a sixteenth is because it is so small, sixteenths are better suited to put them in a decent sort of category. So we'll measure the width. You can turn the skull and twist it a little bit to find the widest possible point. To just contact. I just got a contact, which is there. We we'll use it against our tape. I'll just add a little bit instead of going from the start. So we've got one, two, and thirteen sixteenths for the width. So we'll write we write that down. Two and thirteen sixteenths. Then we measure the length. Once again, you can rotate it a little bit. There is just there. We'll use our tape again. The good thing about the points on the calipers is you can dig it in one end, slightly pull your tape, make it a little bit firmer to give you a proper measurement. The length is four and one sixteenth, so we'll write that on our sheet as well. Then we'll measure between the incisors. If it's missing a tooth, you can go to where the hole is in the skull, right to the very edge of where the tooth would normally be. There's your measurement there. Put that one on. This one isn't going to be a one, this is only going to be in the sixteenths of inches, which comes in at ten sixteenths. So when we've got all those scores down, we'll add them up. Because there's none to double, we can just add the scores up and we'll come up with a seven and 8 16th cat, which is a good trophy class cat.